Welcome to today's video of Cutfight Wenga! Or at least that's what I'm told is how Vanguard is pronounced in Thai. So this is the long-awaited Thai Vanguard opening that you guys, well, I did hype up for you guys, essentially. Um, I am honestly really excited to open this up. I'm sorry that it took so long. Um, I've been busy with university and I was uh, helping to organize Godsea of the VGCS as well. So Thai Vanguard is really different from anything else. Different from Japan, different from English, different from Italian, which is another thing that I'd like to explore one day. But Thai Vanguard essentially is a lot cheaper and they have a lot of exclusive like the mask collection and the stride blade stuff like with like the whole beyblade stuff and then they have various like art that we don't have in any other version of the game and stuff like that but the way that they get cards is also really different because as you can see here this is packaged like a trial deck but it's not. So you can see that this says extra booster set and actually from what I know you get two of each card in a set in one of these. So we're essentially either two or one, I'm not too sure. We're gonna open it up and see. Before we do that though, uh, I did get this from Zistral when he was in Thailand last year. So he picked this one up for me as well as a Thigh Kaiser, which I'm really, really glad for. So let's take it out of the sleeve just to take a look at it. Uh, it looks like the bottom of it is slightly beat up, but it's not the biggest deal. I can, I can live with that. But as you can see, it is all SP, so this is really, really cool. It's a bit of a shame that it's beat up at the bottom, but I really want to collect one of every like possible Dykeiser. It has a the feeling of the the cardboard is a little bit different, but it's not in a bad way. It's like if we compare it to the English one, it feels a tiny bit thinner, maybe, but it feels yeah, it feels a little bit thinner, I think compared to the English one, but that's not a bad thing necessarily. But anyway, it doesn't have any text borders, it is straight up SP uh, Thighkaiser, which is super, super nice. I'd love to have a playset one day, but I'm happy with just one for now. So this is the back of it, and so there's a little bit of damage here, but I'm honestly not too fussed, as I said. So this is gonna go to my international collection. I think, I'm not sure if Korea printed a Dykeiser or not, because like, I know that in Korea, Vanguard was like suspended at some point, but then I saw Garmore, like the the BT-12 Garmore, so I'm not, not sure anymore. But so I hope that there's a possibility to get a Korean Dykeiser, and then when Dykeiser comes out in Italian, I really need to make sure I get it. So that's the uh, Dykeiser himself, but that is from an older set. Now we're going to open up the G set. So this is going to be the Cosmic Roar one, as you guys can see. And so I'll just open this one up from the back like this. And so one of the things that like I, I'm gonna leave in the description because it, I want to avoid any possible you know copyright stuff. But one of the things that's amazing about Thai Vanguard is that they have a Thai dub of the anime, and it is it's become a running joke with some of my friends because it's so amazing. Like especially like the one of the Legion Mate episodes is like straight up top tier. So you can actually watch it on the Kids and Cards channels, that's the official Thai Vanguard channel. They have their own line account, Facebook page that I think some of you probably follow. Um, you know, you can buy, the fact that you can buy this product in 7-Eleven is pretty damn amazing. Like they sell these in like convenience stores, apparently in Thailand, so it's pretty damn cool. And you know, it's just got all these like details, obviously I can't read them because I don't read Thai, but it's still pretty cool. So I'll open it up, we can take out the promotional paper here and it has the whole set list so I think I'm pretty sure it just gives you one of each card if I'm not mistaken so that's the set list for Cosmic Roar so we'll set that aside and I'll take a look at the actual cards themselves I can put away the plastic for now and so it's wrapped just like a trial deck and then you remove it and here we go so well these do feel a little bit thinner don't they it's really hard to describe, but now... Ooh, oh wow! A non-foiled <laughs> Die Earth. You see this? These aren't foils. It's like, this isn't... Nothing is foil, I think. Wow. Okay, okay, so you get one of each. So this is essentially, like, the entire set. And you just have to buy four of these boxes to have a playset of every single card in the set. And from what I know, they do this for everything. Like, every single set has the same treatment. And so that's really, really nice because it makes cards really easy to get. And from what I'm told, um, I'm going to ask and I'm going to put like the text on the screen because I'm not sure. But from what I recall, this retails for a very low price in like, you know, dollars or euros or pounds. So it's overall like pretty amazing. So let's see, I see some more red borders in the back. So I feel like we might be getting more than just 
This, oh wait, important thing. Oh wow, they actually have the stride back. That's actually amazing. So, they got the thing that we don't have in English, somehow. That is actually incredible. So, this is just like one of every single card, and so that's pretty interesting. And then I think, oh, I'm not sure if these are supposed to be part of it, or if this was just included to me as a... I think these might have been, like, huh. That's interesting. This feels like a set of the... The Fighters Collection, if I'm not mistaken? Like, every single stride? Wow, okay. Um, I'm not sure if this was in here, or if um, Zistral just included these in the box, but that's very cool. They're all common foil, though, you see this? None of them are foil, nothing. It's like, they're straight-up commons, and it's so weird to see that. But they do have the stride back, which is also weird to see, you know? Well, I had no idea about that, but we can take a look at the foil. So, this is the only foil it has. I'm trying to see if it has much of a pattern, but it seems just like a straight-up foil. It's like, maybe on the camera it's a bit more visible, but it doesn't seem like it. You see, just kind of like a straight-up foil, so... It's kind of interesting. It is foil, though, for sure. I think I can compare it to my English Gallop, so... The text box is slightly bigger, and... But overall, most of it is retained. It feels like the art is zoomed out a bit, you know? Doesn't it feel like it? Look at it. It looks a little bit like... Or maybe it's just me. I feel like the sword is a little bit bigger in the Thai one, right? Because here... The text box is bigger, but here we don't see the red crest... Like, we see the red crest poking through. But here, it's like... I don't know, I guess... Maybe I'm just being weird. I don't know, it feels a bit like... It feels a little bit off position, is what I'm trying to say. It's like, why is the... English text box smaller, but we see, like, the leg looks a bit different. That's kind of what's throwing me off. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just being weird, honestly. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, but this is really cool. So I really wanted to showcase this because, like, this is how product is sold in Thai Vanguard, and it's honestly really amazing to see. And, like, Thai Vanguard events, I might make a separate video on that, honestly, because, like, Thai Vanguard events get insane, like, people showing up because like there's so many people playing this because it's so easily to get like it's in it's in your convenience stores it's just overall quite easy to obtain cards and so because of that it's really easy for people to get in and you know the product is cheap for us but i think you know in the local currency it most likely isn't you know i'm not sure what it exactly is in the local currency if it's considered cheap or expensive but still the fact that you can buy four of these to have a place out of everything in the set is amazing especially for sets with you know like hard to get grs and even this like you know this like x tiger is like you know it's not hard to get now but it was quite expensive at the start die earth was expensive for a while in english well here you just get one of them so easily so it's really interesting to see this and so i really wanted to show it off and talk about it so i think it's honestly a really cool incentive i would love to open more uh tie products in the future i'm not sure how i would obtain them i don't know if they're being sold online anywhere I like the mass collection series would be really cool to open at some point and like talk about but i'm not sure if i'll ever be able to get my hands on it so for now, this was a video that I really wanted to get out and just to show off what Thai Vanguard actually is because I feel like outside of Thailand, it's not really being covered much outside, you know, or like in the English speaking community. So that's gonna be for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know some of you people were really looking forward to this. Um, I honestly love experiencing the different kinds of like languages that Vanguard is played in. I'm looking forward to opening some Italian product down the line because I know that they have like tins and stuff like that, which is like we don't have that in any other language. So I really would love to see these like differences in like the languages of Vanguard, and so that makes me really excited. So Possibly we'll have something for Italian Vanguard in the future, but I might wait until Dykeyser's actual release. But for now, I think this is already a really cool thing to start with. So, And so I know that I have quite a few viewers in Thailand, so hello to all of you. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying Vanguard, and it seems like it's also cool because they have a different like restriction list and stuff like that. So honestly, I think this is a really, really cool incentive, and it's just awesome to see it. So thank you for supporting the channel, as well as, you know, having such an interesting 
uh, way to enjoy the game. If you do play Thai Vanguard, maybe you could leave in the comments like what actually playing in tournaments is like, like what the competitive scene is like, how many players you usually get per tournaments, and stuff like that, because there's still a lot that I don't know and I wish to talk about it, so it would be really awesome to find out. So, on that note, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the bell button as well as check out these social medias in the description, as well as join the Discord channel if you haven't already, where you can talk to me and other viewers like yourselves. On that note, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.